Good morning folks. How are you all doing today? As you can probably hear, diesel heater is on. Because it's cold and I did not want to get out of bed this morning. So, for such mornings, I've got the setup down to a T. Oh God, it's grim out there. Remote control for the diesel heater next to the bed. And then, flick that on once it warms up, come down, fire the log burner up. <laughs> oh, life of luxury, eh? I'll tell you what, it's mad the difference with, I mean, not knocking the diesel heaters. I, I promote the hell out of the diesel heaters, especially the Chinese ones, because they're such good value for money. Uh, but you can't compare them to this. You really can't. That thing's been on for an hour, and it's only 16 degrees in here. Whereas if this thing had been on for an hour, it'd be about 45. <laughs> But, you know, it's a completely different kettle of fish, and it can't really compare the two. That's why you have both. You know, I always talk about redundancies with power, how it's always good to have three different methods to charge your batteries, because then you have a safety net. But it's also good to have more than one way of heating your van, because if one of them breaks, then uh, you're not screwed. mad this is isn't it this is my um, nine to five if you like <laughs> oh I love it this is like the ultimate job this is more than I could have ever wanted to be able to sort of work because this is work there's, there's no getting away from it like it is still work and it's quite a lot of work actually keeping these videos going and uh, you know everything else that comes with it but it doesn't feel like work and that's the ultimate goal is to have that sort of income when you wake up in the morning it's not like oh fuck I've got to go to work now it's not like that at all I'm actually excited to bust the laptop out and make the video you know even if I've not had a great day before and I think it's going to be rubbish as soon as I get it on here I'll start playing with it put it together into something and it's like you know there we go and it and the best part about it it's it's a direct sort of gratification for me because you lot see it straight away or at eight o'clock and then you then comment and you're talking about it and you've hopefully enjoyed it there's been that that sort of 10 15 minutes uh of your time that you've sort of given to me by watching the videos that's like a real honor i guess to to me and no other way to explain it really it's <laughs> it really is I, I i love it i hope this never ends because it, it this is like this is goals for me this is absolute goals because <laughs> obviously i'm not earning you know millions of pounds from it but i don't need to because i'm in the van i don't need loads of money so what little money i do make is enough to keep me going and that's all that matters that's all i want so then there's no like money stresses really about it so then i can just enjoy everything i do you know the filming the editing uploading uh all of it i can enjoy every minute of it no matter what it's about talking about what i'm doing and sharing my day like that is my life now and uh, I wouldn't have it any other way I really wouldn't so yeah just a thank you to everyone that continues to watch I'm glad that I can make that 10-15 minutes of your day interesting <laughs> I'm waffling edit time let's go now we're gonna go for a little drive
in the uh, the Road Pro wagon. Looking at all the tech. This will demonstrate to um, people <laughs> the power of uh, that's the inverter. Now the problem is with induction hobs you have to use a, a steel yeah. steel pans. And I used this yesterday to cook with. And unfortunately, not being a very good cook, I managed to burn <laughs> uh burn, I was only cooking cabbage and that's what happened. <laughs> <Bloody> uh, <laughs> It's a bit burnt, so I'm going to take it home and get the wife to clean it. Uh, <laughs> it's a bit of a disaster. There was only cabbage, but I reckon I had it turned up too high. I had it on 1400 watts. So it won't work at all unless you've got a pan on it. Yeah. So you turn it on, you select power, and there you go, look, 1200. I'm going to start off down 200 watts. So it is running off the inverter. So induction, running off the inverter, not plugged right. in. Not plugged in, because you cannot beat lithium. Yeah. I don't care what anybody says, <laughs> lithium is fantastic. Anybody who says it isn't, they don't really know what they're talking about. <laughs> or they're doing it on purpose for some kind of reason I don't understand. Or they're idiots. <laughs> it's discharging at 27 amps. If I turn the power up, let's turn it up to 12 amps. Up to 1200 watts, one 100 amp hour lithium battery, and if you look here now, it's discharging at 106 amps. Jesus, I could turn it up to 1400, 1400 watts, but it's draining the battery at 130 amps. You try putting 130 amps out of a lead acid battery, yeah, that's insane. <laughs> it's insane. And look, look what's happening to the water. Like I put the water in there yeah. and already it's boiling. Great, so you come to Road Pro, someone will play your guitar better than you do. <laughs> right, folks, good day at Road Pro. Got this to go in at some point. This is a battery monitor to go inside here so you can see what's going on in the back so I need to put that in um, I was going to get a mains charger but they didn't have the right one that I needed I'm going to sort that out at some point in the future because they've been so hospitable they get a sticker on the wall obviously they have to get the biggest bloody sticker and there we go I like these guys Andy here, right laugh Proper character. Good, productive couple of hours. Really nice bunch of blokes they are. So if you didn't know already, Road Pro is where I got my B2B charger from. We were sort of looking to sort a better mains charger out today because mine's not very good. But they didn't have the exact one that I needed. Teaching me about lithium batteries a little bit because I don't really know a lot about them, if I'm honest. The, the weight saving does look kind of interesting. Gonna lie. I would have liked to have filmed a little bit more today because we were just sort of talking a lot so and I was interested in what they were saying so I didn't really think about filming that much which was my bad. So I've come and parked up near Northampton, this spot that I've been to a few times purely because I fancy to change the scene really. Just have a chilled evening. Can't wait to get that screen on. There's certain things with your van that are worth spending the money on and one of them definitely is the power system just because that's your lifeline so you, you know you want to invest your money into that like your solar and your batteries and all that kind of thing because without power you're pretty stuffed aren't you really you know you've got no heating unless you're me got no cooking unless you're me hey see you see look see i thought this through if my power goes down what do i lose the fridge me last year if I lost my power then uh, 
I lose the heating and then I freeze to death. <laughs> so, yeah, it's very important. <laughs> about to watch CJ unleash the slaphead to the world. You have literally no idea how long I've been waiting for this bloody video to come out using the troll face in every goddamn clip. Look at this, I've managed to find more f***ing chavs doing the bloody nitrous shit. With the uh, fire stick, they're like 30, 40 quid. And it basically just turns the monitor into a smart TV. Get a little remote with it. Now we got the police. <laughs> God's sake. Right folks, it's that time of night. Turn in a clock. So yeah, still at this Northampton Park up, even though we've had a few interesting visitors, but it's gone quiet now, so I'm gonna hit the sack. Yeah, today's a bit of a day. Flipping hell. 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's a ridiculous number. So yeah, I had a celebratory session of rum earlier because it's all out in the cupboard. <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, mad. Thank you to everyone that's new and everyone that's been here from the start. I started these videos for myself now it's grown into this community and now you lot are the ones that keep me going so yeah thank you big time for everything 10,000 people is a ridiculous number I don't even want to think about it right I'm gonna go to bed see you all tomorrow catch you in a bit yeah.